Ulusu Dam and HPP project. As an integral part of Turkey's centennial vision, the project is the largest of its kind in the world. Ulusu Dam and HPP is not merely a major civil engineering project. The reservoir with a surface area of 318.5 square kilometers will border the provinces of Diyarbakir, Mardin, Batman, Siirt, Shirnak and from which Tigris runs through. It is the first time in Turkey that the State Hydraulic Works Administration has undertaken such a comprehensive project and has established the 16th Regional Directorate solely for the purpose of overseeing its completion. The authority of the Directorate is limited to the Ulusu project and oversees activities in five provinces that include physical construction, exploration, resettlement, archaeological and cultural activities, roads and relocations. The construction of Ulusu Dam and HPP started in 2008. When complete, it will annually contribute 412 million US dollars to the Turkish economy in terms of energy production. Ulusu Dam will be the second largest dam in Turkey in terms of body filling volume that exceeds 23 million cubic meters. The soaring 135 meter high dam body will have a crest length of 1775 meters and width of 9.02 meters. Initially, Concrete cover with a 10,800 meter cube second discharge capacity was set on the left shore. The excavation and concrete works of the 12 meter diameter tunnels was completed in 2012. The tunnel number two was transformed into a bottom sluice in 2015. Two clay core rock fill cover dams, nearly as large as a regular dam, were constructed to complete the body filling work of the actual dam. The concrete dam will transfer the lateral water load of the reservoir to its foundations. The spillway is located on the right shore of the concrete dam. The spillway will allow discharge through six radial gates, capable of discharging 17,000 cubic meters per second. Water will reach the power station through the water intake system. Three power tunnels will carry water to six turbine units. Each tunnel is 450 meters long. 300 meters of each tunnel is concrete coated, while the remaining 150 meters is steel coated. Each tunnel divides into two with a two-way structure. At Alusu Dam, construction and electromechanical work is being executed simultaneously. Power generated at six turbines reaches the switchyard. The 380 kilowatt section and 154 kilowatt section. The switchyard spreads out on a 7.5 hectare area. Ulusu Dam is located on River Tigris, which forms the provincial border Mardin and Shirnak. It is 13 kilometers northwest of Güçlükonak district in Shirnak. 15 kilometers east of Dargeçet district in Mardin and 45 kilometers to the Syrian border. Music 
The dam project, executed under the supervision of the 16th District Administration of the State Hydraulic Works, will provide new opportunities for all the settlements that border the reservoir. Roadworks and rural road relocation work continues for 11 districts and 108 villages in five provinces that fall within the reservoir zone. The settlements within the reservoir area have been expropriated. Payments have been made and new settlements have been constructed. The new houses were designed according to public feedback and 25-year mortgage plans offered with no payback for the first five years. River Tigris has been home to civilizations for thousands of years. Ancient settlements located along the river have unearthed it with funding from the project. The State Hydraulic Works has provided 103.5 million Turkish lira funding to the Ministry of Culture and Tourism to execute 288 archaeological digs and 54 surface surveys. Geological and geotechnical surveys were completed for Hassan Cave and reinforcement work has commenced. Relics unfit for relocation are being preserved at their original location. Having witnessed the changing Tigris for a millennia, Hassan Cave is now witnessing a completely new kind of change. Spread out over a 692 hectare area, new settlement will become a new hub for southeast Turkey with its public buildings, treatment plants, college, hospital, student boarding house, library, sports centers, industrial park, commercial center, culture center, and museum. Relics in old Hassan Cave, fit for relocation, are gradually being moved to their new locations within the cultural axis at New Hassan Cave. With a method that was used for the first time in Turkey, the tomb of Zeynal Bey was successfully moved without any damage. Other relics to be relocated in a similar way are Al Rizk Mosque, the Minaret, Portal and Fountain of Suleyman Han Mosque, Kızlar Mosque, Middle Gate, the cold room of Art Quid Bath and the Zaviya of Imam Abdullah. Alusu Dam and HPP project marks the beginning of a new era in southeast Anatolia. The project, with an annual production of 4,120 gigawatt hour, will annually contribute 412 million US dollars to the Turkish economy in terms of energy production. But more so, Elusu Dam will bring prosperity to the region. The completion of the dam will finally make it possible to begin construction of Jizre Dam. An approved irrigation system will increase the yield for farmer. Alternative crops will also be possible. Elusu Dam and HPP project will generate power. But it will also increase prosperity in Tigris Basin. The people of southeast Anatolia will soon enjoy a coastline. The local income will rise.